Hello everybody. I hope you're having a good day. This is Mike. Say um, I'm going to go to the premise. Um, you have the M1 MacBook. This is the M1 MacBook Air. And Mac OS is fine everything, but you're not really used to it or you just haven't done a lot with Mac and you kind of miss your Windows. And uh, there are many ways of running Windows. Of course, you don't have Boot Camp anymore on the M1 Mac. Let me find my mouse here. So, what are your other options? Well, you can run, uh, of course, uh, remote, or you can run parallel, so you can run uh, Wine or Crossover to run at least some Windows applications. But say you want to run it Windows uh, environment, and you no longer have boot camp well you can run parallels of course as I just mentioned and there's a few other ones um, I think team viewer has a a, uh, a deal now and uh, but I want to show you my favorite way right now the one thing about parallels is you've got to share your I think of the eight cores of your CPU you've got to give four to Windows and you have to give half your RAM to Windows now there are certain disadvantages to this too. You do you do want to run another computer. I mean, if you're worried about your electricity, you can run another laptop. Although I don't really see personally, I don't see the point of that. But eventually, I may get a lower powered CPU. Uh, this is running the uh, near that one's nearly a laptop uh, or low voltage desktop, but still it's running a, a electricity. And, and essentially what this is going to be is a uh, extension of that particular computer. I, uh, I uh, have used Mac. I have an iPhone. It's just that for my taste, going totally Mac is not for me. But this allows me to do the best of Mac and yet um, have some of the software that I miss on the Windows side. And let me tell you, it's, this is just like uh, running Windows. So anyway, go to the Mac, uh, the, uh, the uh, Apple Store, download the, my favorite one is Microsoft Remote Desktop is the easiest and it's free. And there's no uh, subscription. So it works really well. So download that. And as you can see, I've already got it installed. And then when you go to your Windows computer, Let's open the windows here. I'm gonna I'm gonna log in, hold on here. Now they say you have to run pro. I don't know if you have to run pro or not with for this particular application. The application doesn't say you have to. But one thing you do have to do is go down to your settings and go to your let's see let's find sharing let's go to remote desktop I'm just going to type it in remote desktop settings okay type it in go let it find it make sure at least it's what I'm told make sure that your remote desktop is turned on or it probably won't work and this is Windows Pro so uh, Windows 10 Pro and I understand that Windows 10 Pro works better than home some people say home doesn't work at all I don't know if that's true or not like I said but anyway it uh, make sure if you have Pro or yeah Pro, this is probably the only way it's going to show up. Make sure that's turned on. Okay. This is going to be a little bit longer. Uh, I don't usually do longer um, videos, but this is going to be sort of a long one. Okay, and then go back to settings. Go to your. In fact, let's go back to remote. Sorry. Stay on remote for a minute.
remote desktop settings okay and then you'll see the you'll see the number on that same page the name of your desktop make note of that because you're gonna have to type that in when you um, when you get to your uh, Mac this you're gonna have to type in your desktop name you can either rename it or I just keep the same name anyway on this particular page just look for it I'm not going to show you my name of my desktop so anyway on to the next deal and once you've done that okay we're gonna go back to our Mac we're gonna open our Microsoft remote okay I've already got mine set up here so once you find it you'll see it and you have your name will be at the bottom here let's see if we can find it here your, no your number will be at the bottom there okay I'm not showing you everything um, I'm not I don't edit my video everybody knows I do a one take anyway so double click on that once you have it installed you'll have to enter your your name first time you'll have to enter your desktop uh, name the second time you can just your name and your Windows password to get into your lap your computer okay to give you a warning that you're about you're connecting to their remote desktop you just say continue it's just letting you notice okay the first thing you'll notice is the desktop that was on my Windows computer is now on my Mac and it looks just like any of my any Windows laptop and uh, that's it the sound comes over when, when you first set up you'll have to give it permission to bring your sound over in your camera although I don't know how the camera is going to work on that computer there's no remote on that particular computer or no camera but anyway uh, basically that's it this is how you set up uh, the Microsoft remote remote desktop setting on your Mac just a way to either ease in or uh, use your Mac when you want to use a Mac and use it as a Windows extension when you want it as a Windows extension I find it works uh, there's a little lag but you know what it's, it's not bad at all if you have a pretty fast uh, really fast computer should be hardly any lag at all and a really good internet section anyway I haven't experienced any problems uh, in this way I'm not uh, hogging any of the resources on my uh, M1 Mac it's still running at the it itself is still running at the speed that I want its full potential but anyway uh, that's it and everybody I hope you have a good day Bye.